Hello and welcome everybody to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage and today we're going to be looking at Quant. Before we jump into the analysis, just want to say thanks for watching. If you're enjoying the content, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video. And why not leave us some feedback down below in the comments section. We're always happy to hear from you, so just leave us something down there. Okay, so let's talk about what we think is going on here. We were talking about previously the the idea that we could be looking for this b wave to the upside here and for the most part we've actually moved into this retracement zone here shown by this red box and we failed to achieve the impulsive trigger of this a wave so that's the 1.618 of this a wave so potentially we can look at this as a completed move so there is a way of counting this as completed i will go over this later in the video but basically what we'd be looking for is within this end move a diagonal um, to complete so it's possible we could complete there and we could actually look to break down now so let's talk about why we think that this is a potential area so we have the the wave structure suggesting it's possible also we've faced rejection right here in this golden pocket between this uh, 162 to this 167 so this zone um, we've actually come into already we also have confluence with the a wave on the one point let's have a look i think it's the 1382 so the 1382 is also in this zone so we technically we've come up to this um to this area it is possible like i said there, that we could extend up here so we'll talk about that within the videos just uh stay with us if you want to hear more about sort of bullish potentials within this um, but basically this is the bearish one that it is possible that we could actually start to break down from this point uh, we'd need to wait for confirmation and confirmation would sort of come by breaking this first by breaking this fourth wave and then by breaking this low point of where we started this move the one to one to the downside area that we could potentially be looking for is this 68.3 so that would be off of this b wave hive that we currently have and that would be the same length as this a wave to the downside so this is something we need to just be aware of that if we do start to break down from here it could be quite brutal and we could actually lose this low and set a new low here and potentially move towards this um towards this area here of this retracement zone um so this is something we just need to be aware of within the moves so what like i said what i want to see with this move is for us to move down take these lows um, first this fourth wave to so that this last bit couldn't extend any further and then actually the high point of this a wave um, if we cross the high point of this a wave we can no longer look at it as a as a five wave move though we would have to take these lows to be 100 percent certain because sometimes what we can get with the structure is we form something like this which is what we call a one two one two and then this is where you get this is a wave one this is a wave one of three and then it starts to progress so uh, basically until we actually break down much lower here we wouldn't have confirmation of that we'd want to see a break clean below this area here of this of the 786 we really would want to obviously cross the bottom but once we start to break through the 786854 it becomes less likely that this is actually going to be a impulsive structure anymore and effectively you know once you start coming that deep it's quite likely you're going to break these lows so that's uh, basically what you'd want to see if um if we're looking for this break to the downside we don't have confirmation yet just like i said so we just need to wait for that the other way we can look at the structure is as a five wave move to the upside though we haven't reached this typical third wave area which is this 174 this blue line up here 174.8 so for the for the most part we haven't reached that area yet so i'm not treating it as a three as a five wave move it is however possible for us to find support again in the zone of this previous fourth wave so what we would be looking out for here is if we see this structure break down in a three wave into this area it is possible then we could then rally again for that additional fifth wave and then we would have actually a five wave move within this structure so we just got to give it a little bit of time to see how we react in here um this wave four shouldn't cross this wave one unless it's a diagonal so we'd be expecting this to find support above this wave one here if this is the case if we cross this we would have to assume that it's invalidated until we get, until proven otherwise um it is possible it could be a diagonal and we could look to push up one more time but 
basically um, we wouldn't have any sort of confirmation of that until the waves started so the way we'd be looking at this internally I'm going to come down here to the one hour and we need to talk about a few things so confirmation that this diagonal has completed would actually come by crossing back below this um, this point here of this 1459 and the reason for this is we would be looking at this move like this as a one two three four and a five into this high point it's not ideal um i would like it to be closer but basically we can still argue that within this structure we have a diagonal to complete um it is also possible that maybe this um this third wave we can look at putting in here but really the internals can can tell us within the structure that uh basically the correction down and this move to the upside would be enough to do it it is however possible that we could see one more leg to the upside like this where we have this as a one two three basically this becomes a fourth wave in this zone and then we look to push up um, one more time in a three wave move for this diagonal so if we do get a three wave move back to the upside here that is probably what's going on and we're actually going to look to break down from that point one thing we do need to be aware of however is we can also look at this as potentially being able to extend so the way we would want to look at this if it's going to extend would be if we come back down into the support zone we could look to actually move higher here and um, effectively look to form a bigger fifth five wave move within the structure which would mean that the fifth wave was extending and basically within this confirmation would only really come by a higher move into this um, 185.8 area if we did see a move up into those zones then it would indicate that we have the that had an extension and then this would all still be within this third wave then and basically what that would mean is after we complete these five wave moves um, we would then be looking for this fourth wave to the downside to come into play um, and it was obviously if we're looking at this as a five wave move like this we would have to take into account that we have another move here so this would all become the internals of a third wave within this fifth wave if that's the case i don't think this is very likely but it is still possible for as long as we hold this 136.5 if we lose that then um, basically this extension becomes invalidated and final confirmation of this being completed would move by moving down past the 127.6 area if we move down past there it would indicate to me that we're actually starting this bigger drop to the downside here so talking about dropping to the downside we can just have a look at the sub waves we don't have really that much information yet with these waves um, but basically with what we do have here on the hourly we would have to assume that um it's not very neat for for an impulse at the moment but if we were looking at this last structure here if we had to move down past this zone of sort of this 145.4 it would indicate to me that potentially then we're starting to form some impulsive structure here so one two three uh four and then a five to the downside if that does play out as we have it shown here then effectively we would have some additional waves within this and this could be potentially a one two and then we'd have another three four five so this would look to push us down and potentially look to take out this low so if we start to develop impulsive structure to the downside here that is probably what is going on however what we need to be aware of is that we could um we, we don't have enough structure here to to sort of confirm it we need to actually see these moves start to progress so once we get a bit more structure we'll have a bit more confirmation within this it could also just be um a really choppy sideways move here where this is a w um w or an a a b and a c we get a five wave move to the downside here and then um this could just be a b wave and then we look to push up one more time so it's not very it's not very clear at the moment uh i wouldn't i'm th basically i'm thinking that we've completed into this high but we need confirmation if we cross back above what this 165 area then we have to look at that other option we were talking about earlier where we could be possibly getting an extension to the upside and if that's the case basically that would then look to hit that um that trigger point and turn this whole move into a bigger five wave move that we were showing 
um, this bigger yellow firewall move. But until we actually cross this 174, we need to be aware that we're right in that sweet spot for breaking down and we could actually look to set some new lows. Okay, I'm going to leave the video there. We will bring you more um, information as we get more structure. And I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on that bell notification so you never miss a video. And why not leave us some feedback down below. Also in the description, you'll find a link to Discord. Why not come check it out? It's free to join. Really is a great place. Um, you know, there's lots of like-minded individuals there. And we talk about crypto all the time. So why not come check it out? Also in the description, you'll find affiliate links to Bybit and PrimeXBT. Both great exchanges. Bybit we use when we're trading crypto. But you can also trade it on Prime. XBT, but Prime XBT is better for trading um, your your indices and your um, equities and stuff like that. You know your your stocks. So basically, that's where you want to be trading. Uh, if you don't have a if you don't have an account, using the affiliate link helps us out. So we do appreciate it. Um, yeah. So we'll see you in the next one, everyone.